Hey guys, welcome back to Stacking, part 7, and we're here with Charlie Blackmore, part of the Black Blackmore Brigade, the Blackmore family, and, and we're here on the train, again, rescuing more members of our family. Now, if you remember, episode 1, we managed to rescue Albert. Episode 2, Agatha, and, uh, well, perhaps not episode 2, but we, we rescued Albert, then Agatha, then Abigail, and just last episode, we rescued Archibald. But he filled us in and said, hey, they've captured Mum and the rest of our family. Albert, Agatha and Abigail are all captured on this on this, on this this train. Headed to the Baron's slave camp outside of, um, outside of, uh, outside of our country. So he's away from the labor laws. And he's going he's gonna to put our family to work. And we can't let him do that. We've got to rescue them before the Baron puts them to the grindstone. So here we are inside a little, little baby. Let's just jump out. Oh, don't cry, little guy. Jump out, because here we are. Charlie Blackmore, in your face. How's it going, guys? But we need to disguise ourselves, because Charlie Blackmore is a wanted a wanted uh, individual. So if any guards see us, we're, we're done for. That guy is wearing a saucepan on his head. Oh, it's a bully. Well, let's get inside the bully, if we can. I don't think we can, actually. There's no other bigger dolls for us to step stone up to. So we'll just, you know, ignore the bully for now. And be on our way. Oh, let's get inside. Oh! Somebody help me! I don't belong in here! Keep your distance! Okay. Defeat uh, Sickle the Sly. Was that... That was Albert. That was Albert in there. Oh my god. That's not fair. Let's, uh... Let's take a look at what's going on in there, then. That must be one of the Baron's evil generals. And that must be uh, Albert. In the room behind him. So how are we going to get past here? What's this guy? It's a lady. A portly lady. Showing bags under her eyes. She's not, in, not at the best of days. But there's nothing special about her. So let's jump inside her and see what she can do. Overtime. Let's see what this does. Wow. Okay. So she charges. And I think that might be the perfect way to ram this guy. So are you ready? Are you ready, guys? Come on. Come on, old lady. You better get out of my way, Sly, because I'm coming through! Uh... Uh... Okay, that, <laughs> that didn't quite work as planned. How you doing, Albert? You holding, you holding on in there? Well, let's talk to this guy. Maybe he'll give us a clue as to how to beat him. Keep your distance! Nothing you say will make me abandon my post! Nothing short of this, short of a bad pestilence or mild intestinal distress will cause me to leave. Oh yeah, look at his face mask. It looks like uh Oh, soup kids. He's hungry. It looks like these this guy is a real he's really really afraid of germs, is it? Uh that's probably a different uh, different um phobia. But uh let's find these soup kids and see if we can poison this guy. Oh hello, what's this? The fireman is spraying water on an ice swan. Quickly, child, blast it with your fan and freeze the water. Oh, good job. We did it. Our combination is well met. Uh, oh dear. Not good. Some abilities can be combined to create a more powerful effect. First, stack the two dolls together. Use the large doll's ability, and then unstack it. Unstack to the next size down doll, and use uh, and quickly use its ability again. That makes sense, actually. And thinking back, I think that might have been a way we could have uh, done one of the other challenges when we were rescuing one of the ambassadors. But um, all right, let's, uh, let's let's jump inside this guy and see how this works. So we've got Hans Allendorf, Fana Supreme. Look at that haircut. That's that's a uh, that's one commanding fringe he's got there. And uh, Fire Chief Russell. Right. So we can spray water, and then we can freeze it. Okay, fantastic. So how are we gonna? How is this gonna help us? Oh my! Oh! But wait, hang on a sec. She is sick, and the guy downstairs is afraid of germs. So let's jump in. Oh my God! Now the fireman's sick. Oh, look at that face. You can see he's sick. Very upset. Well, I'm sorry, Russell, but I'm gonna get you close to this guy down here. Make him run away, because. Oh no, you feel better already. You feel better already. Yeah, oh dear. We have to we have to we'll have to be quick then. 
or even maneuver her down closer so that we can uh, make somebody else sick. So get inside her. Yes, you're quite sick. Wait, what is it that's making her sick? Is it him? What are you? Yes, it's you. It's you. You are the sickly one, sir. Oh, I've got such a terrible cold. Oh, this is terrible. Sir Sally Taintwell and I have got a terrible cold. I'm wearing a couple of uh, a couple of bags on my head because that, that's the best way to cure a cold. Everyone knows. Surely. Come on. Sneeze. Do it. Do it. Ha. You're too big to get in here and infect me with your germs. He's got a point. Wow, this guy really does look down in the dumps. He's too big. She is not. But that's slightly out of range, so let's, let's just infect her. There we go. And quick as you like. Get inside her. In we go. Aha! Ah, sneeze in the air! I must go wash my hands! Yeah! We've rescued Albert. Fantastic! Charlie, you sure swept that guard out of the way! High five. Let's tap feet. Thanks, Albert. Can you help Archie try and stop the train while I find the rest of the family? You bet. Be careful, though. The Baron's really after you this time. Is he now? Well, we'll see. We've got a few aces up our sleeves. And there he is with Archibald. Fantastic. All right, let's keep keep up the pace, guys. Let's keep it going. These guys on their way back to their to their original positions. I guess that's what dolls do. But oh, hit, hit the wall. Meantime, let's jump inside Hans Allendorf and Chief Firefighter Russell, wasn't it? Yeah, Fire Chief Russell. Because these guys will definitely come in handy. Hello. What are you doing there in the corner? Well, let's just leave you to it. Let's, let's, oh, no, nope, careful. Don't want to get sick. Ah, and there's the soup. We could have could have tricked him with the soup guy as well, I think. But um, We've got more of our siblings to save. So let's see if we can find it. Abby, is it? Next. And what's going on in here? Tap space to get shown to the next adventure. Where are we? This way. Oh, hello. Oh, you look. You look interesting. Let's see what you can do. Keep time. This is Ludwig. Ludwig! Keep time. I am the metronome. Tick tock tick. Okay, great. Well, that's going to come in really useful when... Uh... No, it won't. It won't come in useful at all. But never mind. Let, never mind. What's that? What are you holding? A feather? Oh. Oh, la la. It's a maid. Hello. I'll get inside her. Feather dust. Oh, let's tickle this naughty little Ludwig with a feather. Tickle, tickle, coochie coo, Ludwig, coochie coo. Some help over here, please. Okay, what's going on? The tailor has fallen asleep and I've been unable to wake him. Okay, why is that an issue? Why should we, why should we wake him? He's needed downstairs for a fitting. Okay. I've tried everything to revive him, but to no avail. We'll leave this, leave this to the maid. I have my ways. I will coochie coo, coochie coo, coochie coochie coo. Isn't that no? Doesn't work. Uh, how are we gonna wake him up then? Maybe. Uh, oh. Hello, who are you? What can you do? Pollute. Oh, look at this sinister chap. Look at that commanding mustache. Oh yeah. Well, see if you can pollute this guy into waking up. Oh my god. I can't see a thing. And everybody is covered in black oil. But uh, it doesn't, hasn't really helped us at all. What about this one here? What do you do? Factory whistle. There we go. This is sure to wake him up. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? It's like Sips' foghorn. And there he is. Up and about. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. Measure for fitting. Okay. 
I think uh, I think we had another doll previously that had measure for fitting. Although I think that was measure for mummying. And he's needed downstairs, is he indeed? Well, let's go downstairs, because it looks like that's where the next challenge is. Hello. No men allowed. Go away. Why? Why is that? Who is in there? Is our sibling in there? Oh. Yeah, well, we've got to get through there. Christ, well, how are we going to get through? Have we got a woman? <sighs> Hello. Yes, I'm a woman. Let me through. Fantastic. Although we might need this guy. If he's needed downstairs, let's uh, let's see if we can find a bigger woman to hide inside and get him through the gates. And you are female, I think. Carbon footprint. Okay, that's um, it's not odd at all. Well, uh, stay as long as you like. Fantastic. Yes, well, I'm a lady. I must do my ladies' things in the ladies' room with ladies, other ladies. Look at those uh, sugar cubes. Wow, they're huge. Couldn't fit one of those in my mouth. Or in my cup of tea, actually. I might have to chip one off. I probably, probably have to come here with like a, like a pickaxe and, and chop up your sugar cubes. But um, forgetting that, what are we doing in here? We're just passing through, I suppose. Tell me. Tell me, my lady. Have you seen the tailor? I'm afraid he's late for my fitting. Actually, dear, I am the tailor. I am the tailor. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Yes, yes. You're a size 9. 5. 62 double D. Excellent. Fantastic. Well, we just measured her, measured her, so... Oh, lovely. Please measure my back first. How? S s stop. S s stand still. A fitting start. A fitting. Start with my back. Uh, mm. And this guy wants assistance too. Oh, is th does this guy need to wake up? I haven't got the factory whistle guy. Oh, good lord. We can't get inside her. Because, uh... Oh. What are we doing here? We're just getting everybody wet. And that does look nice, but... Um... Right, so... Measure for fitting. She turns around. Jump inside. Aha! There we go. Disable ladies' gates. Excellent, excellent. So with these, we can disable the gates. That means we can get inside the whistle guy and uh, and bring him to the guy that needs waking up. This is a bit convoluted, but I guess we're getting deeper into the game now. So the challenges are getting harder and getting more. Oh, coochie coochie coo! Getting a little bit a little bit longer to do. So we've got the whistle. Let's blow the whistle and I can go in here. I'm a man. I'm a man and I'm in the ladies' room. Look at that sinister grin. Oh, this guy knows what he's doing in here. Oh, your presence is most inappropriate. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know what? Why don't you just suck my whistle? Yeah? Yeah, deal with it. So let's wake up this guy. Okay, and Ludwig's up. So let's jump inside Ludwig. Oh no, this is Franz. Franz can also keep time. Now let's keep on moving down the cart. I wonder what I have to do today. I'm going to keep time and... Oh! My family will rescue me! I just know they will! My armor makes me impervious to any attack. Does it indeed? Really? Um... What about a whistle? Ha 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 ha! Whistle! No, oh, it doesn't work, okay. Aha! Coochie coo! Coochie coo, mother trucker. Let's see what you do about this. Yeah, you ticklish? Yes, you ticklish! Yes! Coochie coochie coo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, Charlie, you're so clever! Papa would be so proud! You always were the nicest one, Agatha. I wonder where Papa is, actually. Maybe he's on this train. I heard the guards say that we were all headed for the Baron's offshore labor platform. That's true. That's true. It's true! Archie's trying to get the engine, get to the engine and stop the train! Don't worry, Charlie. We'll stop the train. You find the rest of the family. Okay. Well, we've got our mandates. We've got our schedule. 
our schedule for success, and that is to stop the train and to rescue our family. So where are we? Tickle Tiberius the Terrible. He has been tickled. Tickled into submission. So let's jump inside Soup. Soup Lad. Serve Soup. And is there any, anything bigger I can get? In? Yes, there is. Uh, oh, well, no. Let's get back into... Um, Let's get back into the fan guy, Hans Allendorf, and then back into the fire engine guy, because that might come in handy. Freezing someone into ice might come in handy, but so will tickling somebody, because that was hilarious. And yeah, she's quite she's quite, uh, quite a pretty doll there. Coochie coochie coo. And off we go. Make, oh, oh, God, God. No, no quick moves, just act, act casual, act casual. And, and go, 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 run, run, run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whew, close one. Piano bar. Okay. Sounds interesting. Here we are. Oh, pardon me, but have you seen any of my fellow pianists? We have! We have seen a few of your pianists. Your Sorry, this door's locked until power comes back on. Is it really? Bring all of the piano player matched set dolls to the piano and stack them together to power the lounge and continue on your way. Well, luckily enough, we've, um... No sudden movements. There's a guard over there. Come on. Come on, just, just stay quiet, stay quiet. Oh, oh, he's coming, he's coming here. Oh, he's going to touch me. Close, close, close call. Let's get back and let's find, was it Hans and Ludwig? And bring them to the piano bar. So that they can play a piece of music on the piano. Oh, yes. Play a nice little ditty. So, uh, I only remember seeing two, though. Perhaps you guys remember seeing a third. Because uh, I get very tunnel visioned when I'm playing this. I get stuck thinking about the task at hand, and I forget, I forget to take a look around and see what the other dolls are exactly. So there we are. Piano player set. Oh no, look at that. There's five of these. Six of these. Is that six? This is Wolfgang. Oh, okay. Then this isn't going to be so bad. Because there is Ludwig. So there's two more smaller than this guy. There is the smallest, it looks like. So let's jump in him. Who's the next one up? Let's see. I don't see any around here. Maybe we missed him in the, in the room above. Christ, six in this set. And this is Gustav. I am the most advanced piano player of the bunch. And I will play them under the table. Where are we? Where are we now? Back in the train car, right at the beginning. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to the beginning to find, uh, find the first train guy. But I think this is probably the best place to stop. So next episode, we're going to have to find the rest of these piano players. And uh, yeah, we're right back at the start. So we're going to have to go back through all these carts, get the piano players, unlock the next cart by playing in the piano lounge, and then get on with rescuing the last, what is it, one? One of our siblings, and then it's on to rescue mum. So I've been, I've been Charlie Blackmore, and I've been Sjin. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe, and I will see you next time.